Yasna discovers the destination of the last convoy that left the field base. She sets off after realizing that there may be a chance to find other people. Yeah, so last time... Last time we found the base of the Alliance, who are our enemies, and we went in and discovered that they're not in their base. Their base was completely deserted. It's not looking too good. Check the upper level. So there was a ladder nearby. Ah, yeah, yeah. I just blew my nose, but I still got the sniffies. Let me grab my pillow. I need to be more prepared. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. <clears throat> Fortunately, the ship's not here. Neither there, or... Are you still looking? Mm-hmm. Not here either. <laughs> Bingo. Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. <clears throat> we gotta get in the rover. We gotta go after these people. <clears throat> this is our last chance to get it off this blasted planet. I can just figure out how to get outside. <clears throat> there we go. Where am I going? Uh, as soon as you find something, I'll report it. No worries, sir. Huh. Some robots. Doesn't react to my presence at all. I don't know if that's a good sign or bad. I wouldn't worry about it. Going after the convoy. We're coming. Don't you leave. We need to get out of here. Down you go, bright sun. Time to let the night in. For my life, I'm happy. I feel this moment fighting. Let 
Hands become too heavy, hands become too weary. Down you go, oh bright sun. Night is not that scary. Hide behind the dark woods. Oh, we're running barefoot. Uh-oh. Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. <clears throat> it must weigh hundreds of... No, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. Isn't that jealousy speaking, sir? You jealous, Navik? You jealous? All right, we're going the right way. <clears throat> right? on so much don't so say that they're gonna take off without me sir <laughs> don't count on it doctor I'm not going anywhere oh Novik's not going anywhere without us From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. <clears throat> the radiation level is rising rapidly. Yes, now be careful. Of radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Ah. Saying people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only chance, and not only mine. You have other subordinates who need help. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor. However, you must keep in mind that alive and mentally sound... Me One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. What are we going to see? <sighs> A 
And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. And another one. How many of those did you Is it active? Dead, fortunately. Uh, I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Ah, shit. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their face, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? Just what the hell? Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Ah, oh, shit. So the two people we found are dead. I think we have to go through the hole. Recorder cover. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. This is good. They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. The coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Yes. In that case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. Location with the giant cranes right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here, sending a probe. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Yeah, that's the one we... I'm looking at it now. They've pierced a hole seven meters in diameter, and it's hard to say how deep. Is it the hole you mentioned? Yeah, I have a bad <clears throat> feeling about this. Me too, Yasna, me too. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Huh. Dang. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. staring with concern at an instrument some sort of meter the photo is such poor quality you can clearly see the fear on his face 
Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Uh, it's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, <coughs> really. We're going in circles instead of getting you off this planet. Is there anything... Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. If my crew was safe and sound, I'd gladly investigate it myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. Saving you. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... Whatever's in there. Oh, I'm God. I'm still considering whether you should go inside. I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asna. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, not for our link. We'll help me keep it together, sir. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Oh, hell. What was aiming for? The machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Bruh. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Bruh, I don't like this. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Bruh. Everything's gone rogue. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People have frozen with fear. It's firing directly at the crew. Oh, gosh. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter being does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagship. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. A rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Oh, it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. Oh, no! Killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all, 
What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, Yasna. Proceed. I know you can see me, and I want you to know, I'm not afraid anymore. You hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> ah! Hey, Amelia, 20 Brooks, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? We are going to the tunnel. I'm very terrified of what's in here. I hear some noises. I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. That's not good. Hey, what's going on? I can't, can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Yes, now we're not reaching the end. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Nice. It's an art town. Coming at me. Huh. How's your stream going? It's going pretty good. Yo, what you got? I got out. Well, inside the cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Uh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. It's probably because our oxygen. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. It's our oxygen. No. No. For how long since you have I'm been on now. Twitch? Right. Can you tell me what uh, you a couple years now. This robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. What you doing, robot? I hope your channel grows more. My best wishes are with you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Well, Thank you. Parts of the bushes are but, uh, fruitless. So the alliance came to pick the fruits. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. I've been pretty close. Search the location. What if I uh, just beat it with one of these things? Like, drop the crate. Drop the crate. Something popped up. Uh, my legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it.
Drop the crate. Yes, now you need to slow your breathing. Oh my gosh, slow your breathing. I think that crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Buddy, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue like alloy. Bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal, then I'll use the detector. Ah! I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Perhaps it's... looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... all grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells. Membranes, organs, or green bodies? Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. <laughs> Oh no! I can't handle it anymore. <sighs> We're goners. Oh shit. What's happening? Follow the Arctan. Oh shit. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. You must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow. <clears throat> Oh shit! Oh fuck! Fuck, it's getting up! Oh. The robot! No! No, the antimat! You need to act fast! Move, Yasna! Fuck! No! No! Yasna? Are you alive? Yes. It destroyed the robot. What are you doing now? Ah, oh, it's looking at me! I'm, I'm dead! Thank you for your support, sir. The probe won't help me this time. 
I didn't even react. The probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. It won't come. No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. Oh. Sorry. I saw my house. You hear me? All mine. It was my decision. I decided to accept this mission. I brought us here. My goddamn planet. How did I survive? Wait. You said you had a choice. Yes, sir. You're alive. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed... This could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... <clears throat> you got a, all of our people killed. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Hmm. Oh, okay. Are we forgiving or are we not forgiving? Do we forgive Novik? Novik? Hmm. But merit. He's my only chance out of here. I can't. I can't give him a cold shoulder. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, if I may, I would suggest watching your next steps. Uh, th there were no more anti mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. Alright, I'm gonna go check this robot. And I trust that you are not going to shoot me. Okay? Do not shoot me. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Goodbye, anti -Matt. Thank you for make, for saving me. Actually, it's right in front of me. Oh, hell. Are you breathing? Is that me or you? Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them, but it's nothing to complain about, is it? Record. 
So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. I want to hear it. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scout came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. Ah! It turns out that field damaged them. So, all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually, it concerns the long-term effects. Months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how, Merritt. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them have gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Find the container with the flies. Don't like the sound of that. Oh, hell. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. It was damaged in the first one, right? I actually, I'm not sure. I didn't think to go inside. There are powerful emitters in the center. 
similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. field melted adjacent rocks they had to run the generator on full power they were defending themselves after all from the swarm of flies i presume we don't know how large it was they didn't capitulate that's a good sign well i don't know that so far i can only confirm that the field has not dissipated yet i know how to get inside under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Alright. <clears throat> Up there. No! More people gone. <laughs> One step at a time, Lesna. One step at a time. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph it, everything from a greater distance. It took a picture of me. Oh, come here, little probey. Come here, probey. Oh, you ain't no it's Luna. Okay. Is it scared of you too? I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <laughs> oh, I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All clear. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here's dead. Here we 
go. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Hold it together, Yasna. Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. I don't like this. If they're flies. Really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go. Yasna, what are you wondering about? Yes, off we go. Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. You'll have a lot of time to think about it. There's just flies. If you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although first, I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Ha -ha. Wow. I must admit, they look amazing. And deadly. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black holes have been in the stratosphere. What the f? What the fuck have we done? What the fuck have we done, Yasna? Open it! Oh! Close it! Close it! Close the door! Why did we not close the damn door? Yes, now you're stupid. I would have closed that thing. Oh, we're gonna crash. This is a uh, horrible. Ooh. Yes, no. You're dumb. Stupid. Oh. 
creatures! They're the ones doing it! 